Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and welcome back. Why haven't you been showing up here for days now? I don't get it. Riddle me that, where have you been? What, Drunk Frodo with the gifted membership. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. See, Drunk Frodo gets it. Gets what exactly? I'm not sure, but I liked that, so they get it. Thank you very much, Drunk Frodo. I appreciate it. Andy sniped. First... First snipe in a while, actually. Projecting much, are we? I have no idea what that means, given the current conversation. But welcome! Welcome, guys. I'm taking a little break from Ultimate Forge today, and by break, I mean it's like a break in spirit, in which all the content I'm going to work on today will go towards Ultimate Forge, Falcata being like the big one, but it's not specifically for Ultimate Forge. It's more of just a side benefit. I just want to finish Valkata. Exactly. So you might be like, Rejected, why don't you just work on Ultimate Forge? You're so dumb and stupid. And technically I am, which means you're the dumb and stupid one. But the other reason I'm not working on it right now is because I realized something. I have to rebuild the entire Ultimate Forge map. Because there's just too much stuff on the Forge menu. I actually just need to split Ultimate Forge into four separate maps. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Ultimate Forge took an L because of the Halo 3 engine. Actually, Ultimate Forge took a W because of the Halo 3 engine. I finally came to the realization that I actually need to split Ultimate Forge into four different maps. And then just... And you guys might be like, whoa, no way, Rejected. Now the download size is going to be enormous because it's four maps. Wrong. It's actually going to be about the same exact size. Maybe like 100 megabytes more because I'm going to use what's known as a shared dot map. What that means is really not important, but basically I can shove everything into one single map, but it's still four separate maps, and that's pretty cool. Am I still keeping the walls? I have no idea. I have to rebuild the map completely, which is a lot of work. And, uh, you know, we'll get there. What we have right now is the desire to bring Skaboodly's un unbelievably beautiful Falcata to life in Halo 3 today. I'll be doing the physics model upgrading. I'll be doing all of the damage states upgraded. I'm going to be doing some new animation stuff, like getting the fan to finally, finally work. It doesn't work right now. be doing all kinds of stuff, but we'll get there. First things first, though, let's fly the Falcata around huge grass because that just sounds awesome. Oh yeah, also, we do need a little bit of FX work. It doesn't have any boost effects, and I do want to give it a boost. I toned down the boost a decent bit. Would you consider adding the Grizzly under the Albatross bag? Maybe. I'd consider it. Um, the Albatross, definitely. The Albatross should be on... You have to understand, too, now that I'm redoing Ultimate Forge's uh, terrain, I'm going to have 30 new spaces to add the Forge uh, to the Forge list. I'll have 30 brand new open areas to do Forge-related stuff with, which is awesome. And I always forget, Huge Grass is a pretty good-looking map. It's really making me realize just how ugly Ultimate Forge is and how much I hate it. Yo, Joe, thank you for the $2. Much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. Uh, please keep the walls. It's just more for variety for the terrain to forge with. The walls are just too good to remove. I mean, I want to keep them, but also, like, there's not really much of a point. Um, Dark Volt, thank you for the two as well. He said, huge guys game night. I want to record content. Yeah, actually, me too. Uh, let's get a day or two of good huge grass content in, and then this weekend we can do another huge grass game night, and then hopefully actually just put out the update. I think that'd be, that'd be pretty sick. There's, this update technically is out, but it's like not properly out. I need to put all the polished content in there. Big deal. It's a big deal. Alright, let's uh, land our lovely Falcata here. Now, I'm debating. Somebody... Bum, I guess I should probably turn on my webcam. I suppose. I guess. Yeah, hello. Hello, good to see you guys. Um, I'm thinking... You guys know we have the, the Falcata, obviously. I think it has a really good place here on Huge Grass. But I also... I think I'm going to remove one um, of the drones, one of the Wombat drones from each hangar bay. What do you mean, my eyes? Sexy? Thank you. I assume you mean me, not the Falcata, right? Right? The spinning multicolored line, what? Oh, yeah. It's gone now. 
I'm so sorry about that. Oh yeah, because uh, we have the Falcata up here, which is pretty cool. You know, I can't complain too much about that. But, hey! Yeah, that's right. Back up. You don't, you don't swipe at my cat. Uh, but, check it out. I put a Falcata over here too. But I'm thinking what I should do is have like the Falcata over here. And then this one can go back to being a drone. Because I would actually like to keep both of these being a drone on the map. Or, uh, sorry, to keep one of these being the drone on the map. Only issue is the drone's not really a very polished vehicle. I don't like it that much. Yo, I'm not getting my Discord membership perks. Any idea why? Your YouTube account is not linked in your Discord profile. That's why. What are we listening to right now? I have no idea. Oh, Destiny 2. Dark Bolt, thank you for the two. Appreciate it. Falcata weapons, when? Today. Literally today. In fact, I might do that even before I go ahead and do uh, the, 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 the damage states. Because damage states are super boring and suck big ass. Let's take a look at the Falcata here. Falcata weapons, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they are built into the Falcata, and I don't have to do anything on them. In fact, it seems I am right, because I believe this is a weapon right here. I don't know why there's only one, but there is only one. That's odd. First Kaboodly, we need him. Yo, Joe! Thank you for the $2 tip, man. Big appreciate. Thank you, thank you. I think I was drunk or something on that last dono. I meant to keep the walls, but each section is more variety in hills. Hills, more water, maybe mix in other forge maps, and even some foreigner tunnels in one section. Yeah, see, I think that's a good idea. I was a little bit confused on what you meant by that, <laughs> by the last one. Um, but yeah, that's actually a really good idea. That is, that's a cool one. Modern fighter cannons only usually have one, and it's off on the left side or right. Oh, cool, okay. Well, that, that works out pretty well then. Good to know, I didn't, I didn't know that, but I think that's pretty, pretty dope. All right, let's give this thing some guns then. I think that's, we, we can give this thing some badass guns. And to answer your question again, Joe, and sorry, your suggestion more than anything, um, yeah, I think that's actually a very good idea. I have one area sculpted. Now I could sculpt three more. Fuck it. You just said hills twice when it said terrain. What? What are you talking about? I think you're drunk. Alright. Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I was messing around with the Falcata's, like, boost speeds and values and stuff, so I had that open. But now it needs a weapon. We are in desperate need of giving the Falcata a weapon, so let's add a weapon to it. Let's start with something simple. Honestly, he should just add some reach weapons to huge grass. Erm, no. Actually, that'd be kind of fun now that I think about it. What would be a good one? Reach Grenade Launcher? Mm, reach Grenade Launcher wouldn't shoot very far, but it could be fun to port it over. Would give, oh man, now I hate that you said that, because it would not be all that challenging to port over like all the animations and stuff. Like you guys already know I did that with a bunch of Halo 3 weapons into Reach. Like I already have the Blender file set up to do all that stuff. Fuck. They're in my head, they're in my head! Ugh. All right, let's take objects, weapon, uh, vehicles. We'll go to our Falcata, make a new weapon folder, cat gun. The cat gun is still on the list. This will be Falcata guns. Oh, uh, I, I put funds, guns. And then I should probably edit that. So here's a, the interesting thing about the Falcata, the weapon the this bay here in the back is a, is a weapon i forgot to texture them but they are missiles which is pretty cool and i think this is this a bomber skiboodly is this is this supposed to be a bomber and the machine gun from halo 2 huh? maybe i will maybe i fucking maybe i will all right i might just do that Or maybe not. We'll see. Oh man, y'all are just making me want to port weapons, actually. The giant machine gun from Halo 2 would make a pretty fun weapon. No, it's a fighter, but the F-22 also has an internal weapons bay like that. I see. So it kind of just drops down a missile and... 
I wonder. Hold on, let me see. Did you? What did you model in here? Is it just a bunch of missiles, like, just kind of stacked in here? I wonder if I could make it so it can fire, like, one missile at a time. That's, like, pretty strong. I could have the all the missiles kind of, like... I could have one of these missiles, like, lower down and then fire off and then, like, immediately teleport back up into here. And then it closes up or something. Hmm... Or I could just do that with an actual projectile where it just kind of drops and then accelerates. That would be cool. Give it like a little bit of gravity, but also a little bit of lock on. Ooh, ooh, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. I like this idea. It just it kind of drops and then goes flying. I'll tell you right now from experience, the spray lock is way too much work. Yeah, I don't think doing it with animations is the move. I do not think that is the move. Right, we'll do extension of parent uh, on this. This is basically just giving it a pelican gun for the time being. Uh, barrel marker it should already be on primary trigger. Okay, so this should already be set up for the weapon. Let's see if it now has the pelican gun. Okay, it looks like it does. Obviously, I don't want to just give it the pelican gun, but yeah, it does. It's it has got the pelican gun. Okay, not bad. To start. It's a good start, actually. But obviously it needs its own thing. Not bad. Way too similar to the Pelican, but not bad. Now, as for missiles, it definitely, definitely needs some missiles. The missiles will drop to the missiles will fly to the target direction. Yeah. Mm. Talking about the Oni Prowler. Actually, Malcontent has a Prowler up on his Sketchfab that's available for purchase, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's pretty freaking neat. Uh, here. The Sins of the Prophets Winter Class Prowler. Big ass ship. Very cool. All right, well, I want to add rockets to this thing. Very important to me that it has very cool rockets. So, I'm going to do it. Is that supposed to be like a huge, though, like a mobile command center? Yeah, it's really big. It's really, really big. Um, I need to use the... I need to give the Falcata's missiles some textures. I can't believe I missed them after all this time. Where is Blender? Blender just removed itself from my hotbar. That's to that's normal. That happens. Sure. Why not? Who cares? We'll just let it cook here. We'll just uh, we'll just let it cook. We'll just. Uh... Blender is blending. Okay. Here we go. We've got our Falcata. So I can't believe I missed these missiles. But yeah, they are using... Oh. Saber Metal Frame. And Saber Body Metal. Okay, so they're using Halo Reach Saber Shaders for this. Good to know. Okay, so I just need to basically copy some Saber stuff over, and then I'm good. So let's stare at that beautiful single frame. Actually, that's not a very beautiful frame. Let's turn and look to the outside world. Oh god, it's gorgeous out there. It's beautiful. Very importantly, I need a bunch of Halo Reach assets. Very, very importantly. Uh, so let's snag some of those. There it is. Um, you know, okay, give me give me two seconds, you guys. Uh, I need to use the restroom really quickly.
Going to pitch a loaf. That is such a horrible way of saying poo, and no. I don't poo. I think that's very disgusting. How dare you? How dare you? Well, I gotta eat this M&M. It's really important. Okay. Alright. Let's pop open Halo Reach Foundation. We're gonna need a shader with a bunch of bitmaps. A whole bunch of them. Demon, thank you for the five, man. Appreciate it. Said, I'm guessing you didn't accept Spore, as I just got a Steam alert about a pending refund. Dude, I could not accept Spore for some reason. I have no idea why. Here, let me see. It was like, the button was grayed out. I tried everything I could to accept it, and it just grayed out. Yeah, I have no, I no longer have pending gifts. I don't know, you sent it to me? I thought you already refunded it, like, the day of, because I didn't accept it on stream, and I went in later to try and accept the gift, and it was just grayed out. I couldn't click yes no matter what. I have no idea why. I honestly, I assumed you did it. Joe, thank you for the $2 tip, man. Appreciate it. Here's a fun idea, not for your current mod, just an idea about making an A10 Warthog and his primary fire is the AA turrets from Halo Reach and it just has a really short fire till overheat. You mean just like Although in Halo Reach, that the AA turret, the human one, just kind of da 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 da. Wait, Spore on Steam is almost a ripoff. Can't install HD mods and all this other shit. Wait, really? Is the Spore modding community still alive and well? Can you even upload like creations to their like online service anymore? I'm actually so curious. All right, we needed Saber, I, if I recall, Scoodly used Saber Body Metal and Saber Frame Metal. So Saber Body Metal and Saber Frame Metal here. They use Saber Frame Diffuse and Saber Frame Normal and Saber Body Diffuse and Saber Body Normal. Okay, I mean, that's not anything too crazy. I can literally snag those. Rejected, how do you make damage states? That is a extremely loaded question. It's very hard to explain that. I, I genuinely do not know how to explain that to you. That is a, a lot. There's a lot of things that you have to do. But I'll do, be doing damage states today, so maybe maybe you can learn from watching. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's grab these uh, let's grab these textures real quick. And then we can get our missiles good, and then I can also use that missile model to make a really badass missile projectile as well. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, I'm gonna have to do some stuff with the lovely community tool known as Reclaimer. One of my favorite tools, actually. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, let's... Actually, can I, let me check something. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and open reach maps. Reach, 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 reach. M45 is the one with the saber. Okay. So the textures, we need four of them in total. Saber body and saber frame. Saber body diffuse. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's extract that. It's your adjutant. Bit maps. Yeah, we just throw it in there. Saber body diffuse. Saber body normal. And we can do a saber frame, which is the other one for the missiles. Saber frame diffuse. Very nice. Wow. And uh, saber frame normal. Okay. We did it. Congrats to us. Haven't been here in a while. What prominent changes have been made? None. Absolutely nothing. I didn't do anything at all. I just sat here. But you came just in time to see actual changes, so that's good. Alright. Let's get our bitmaps, saber, body, and frame and stuff. Falcata, bitmaps. I'm gonna go to my tag data. Oh boy, Windows 11, is it gonna? 
Wow, Windows 11 let me type in directory stuff. That's amazing, dude. I love Windows 11 when it actually works. All right, tool, bit, bitmaps, objects, vehicles, Falcata, bitmaps. Very nice, very, very nice. Oh wait, this is set to normal. Let's do Z bump, cause it's not gonna, you know, whatever, it's too late. I already imported them. All right, we can say goodbye to Halo Reach. We don't need that anymore. Now we have the shader. No, oh, yeah, we don't have the shader actually, but we'll make the shader. We have, let's just take the regular Shrike shader. I'm gonna call it, what was it? Saber frame body? Blender. Saber body metal, saber frame metal. Saber body metal. And saber frame metal. Wow. Amazing. Um, the thing is, uh, if most of these vehicles would just be absolutely anti fun if they had accurate stats and damage for gameplay balance reasons, they have to be nerfed. Yeah. A lot of people don't get that, though, which is a bit strange to me. A lot of people just don't seem to understand that I can't just do lore accurate shit because there's no fun in that at all. It's like in the books, like, I don't give a fuck about the books. I give a fuck about having fun. All right. Uh, we got the Falcata guns, now we have the texture. So let's re-import. Tool, render, objects, vehicles, Falcata, draft. That's... <gasps> I did it incorrectly. Tool, render, objects, vehicles, Falcata, draft. There we go. Much better. All right, now... Now that it's importing all that stuff, I can go to the shaders and then refresh. We'll grab ourselves the Saber Body Metal. Easy peasy. Falcata Bitmap, Saber Body Diffuse, Saber Body Normal. The other thing though, we gotta go into this normal bitmap here. Set it to a height map, not height map, uh, ZBrush Bump Map, save and re import it. <laughs> this is why Green hates the Longsword. I mean, the longsword is actually not that unbalanced. The nuke is annoying for some people, but I'm gonna be honest, it's not that bad. It's not the worst thing ever. It's just, it's a bit extreme and it's not like skill based, but it's not like game ruining, I would say. Uh, you definitely won't catch me going, oh yeah, you gotta have a lot of skill to use the nuke, but like, I don't think it's, like, killing the game. Nobody's like, oh man, I hate the nuke so much, that wasn't cool at all. <laughs> Alright, let's see, do we have missile textures now? Wait, why does the... The illumination looks so much better all of a sudden, what's up with that? Is it because we're not out in the sun? Oh, that's exactly what it was. I need to redo how the illumination on the engines works for Halo 3. Oh yeah, look at that. I can't see shit because it's really dark in here for some reason, but... That looks like textures to me. Probably. I have no idea. Let's go out in the sun. Um... Yeah, maybe. Skaboodly, were these ever textured? I don't know if Skaboodly's here. I don't know if he ever textured these, actually. Because they do not look textured at all. Let's find out. I think they're textured, but they're just on the wrong UV channel. Either the textures are in the Falcata, or they're just literally the Saber Missiles, I don't remember. Yeah, no, I, it's just because they're on a different UV channel, that's all. These all use... Or maybe not, wait, hold on. 
Okay, yeah, all the missiles are just on a different UV map, which was, I think, causing issues. Let me out and out, shoot DMs if you have questions. Alright, for sure, man. Dark Shield, thanks for the 14 months, dude. Appreciate appreciate it. For my 14 month milestone, I will say H2AA when. <sighs> I need to go back to making videos so I don't have to read fucking H2A Goku memes anymore, dude. I'm so tired. This life's too short for this. Halo 2 anti-air when? Somebody already made that, actually. Alright, I'm trying to remember, how do you merge a UV map again? You just separate all the parts. <laughs> the Texas Thunderstorm was crazy? Oh yeah, that shit went crazy crazy the other day. Holy hell, man. That was wild. I meant Halo 2 anniversary, anniversary. I know what you meant. I was not confused. Um, I'm gonna look up how to do this again. I totally forgot. Oh, wait. Actually, I think I have a good solution for this. And by good solution, I meant... Select all this. Do this. Then just select everything that's on this UV map. Like that, which is literally just the missiles. Oh, well, this is gonna take a minute, but just just trust me on this, guys. I, I've got this figured out. I know how to do it, I swear. You got this UV map, which is on a one called UV map. We separate it out. Name it that, and I go here. Do the same thing here. Oh, please don't crash. Oh, thank God. Hey, relax. Okay, I think everything's good on this one. Basically what I'm... Uh, to... How do I explain what I'm doing? I am making the missiles work good. Some of them are not on the right map, which is technically correct. Yeah, some of these are just on the incorrect map, so I am putting them on the right map. It's like they are loaded into the wrong level. That's the best way I can think of to describe it. It was a total accident. <laughs> he never got my joke, so he's out of the loop. What are you talking about? What? What? Are you? You're insane. I don't know what you're talking about. You think I don't know what you're talking about, but now I actually don't know what you're talking about because you're talking about me not knowing what you're talking about. You're making it too complicated. I know that you meant Halo 2 anniversary anniversary. I'm not fucking dumb. I'm not illiterate. I'm just saying I'm tired of all these fucking dead memes, man. Uh, I, I've... I, I'm fucking withdrawing like crazy lately from my stupid nicotine addiction and it's making me so jaded to your guys' dead fucking memes. Your dead memes that are regurgitated and not funny anymore. Why? Why must you continue this rampage? You couldn't stop. We're safe now. It's safe here.
like and subscribe true if you are enjoying it's a slow day and it's inevitably going to continue to be a slow day but if you are enjoying watching me do a little bit of blending be sure to like and maybe subscribe let's be honest you're probably all subscribed already Alright, on all of these, I'm going to remove this UV channel and rename it. This one, is this one good? This one is not good. Basically what I'm going to do is finish touching all this stuff up by removing this and renaming this. Now they all share the correct UV channel name. And then if I merge them all back together... All as well. <laughs> hey, Joe the Assassin. Thank you so much for the $2 tip, man. What is this explanation? Ah. Darksteel, H2 AA win, me, H2 anti air win, you see Drake, AA equals anti air. Okay. Also, you can look through everything I said today, and I have to say anything Dragon Ball Z related, that was the other guy. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. To make tutorial videos, please. I currently have no plans to make tutorial videos. We're gonna add rivers to huge rise. You know, that's a thought I've had for a long time. I am gonna go through and do an overhaul of the terrain one of these days. Um, I planned on doing it a little while ago, but I never quite got around to it. I'd very much like to, though. I think it'd be a lot of fun. All right, I have fixed the UVs by adding them all onto the first UV map. It is now time to export and get this into the game. Oh, error, ay ay ay. Alright, I gotta separate that out real quick. I'm gonna do the same on this one. Oh, thankfully I don't have to on that one. Okay, good, good. Arc steel, thank you for the two. Goku, 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 Goku. I see. Very valuable. Very good. Very useful. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. You know, only you could have said something that that real, and I respect that. I do not. I lied. I'm just lying to you now. I 
let's see if I can export this now. I somehow broke it, I think, so we'll find out. Joe, thank you for the $2 tip. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Okay, back to Halo. How are you trying to balance the Falcata? The first version of Ultimate Forge was fast as fuck. Are you trying to make it move at the speed of a Wombat or a bit faster and slower? I have slowed down the Falcata pretty substantially. The main issue is its boost. Its base speed is the same right now as it was on Ultimate Forge, um, but its boost is now, I think, at 1.5 times speed modifier, so it's nothing too crazy. I think it's about the same speed as the uh, Wombat. It feels a lot better on Huge Grass, because Huge Grass is much bigger than uh, the Ultimate Forge biomes. So you don't just go zooming through, like, immediately. So I will say it does feel quite a bit better. It's the same as a Wombat, basically. Um, it's similar. I mean, it definitely flies very differently. But it is similar. Like, obviously, it's a VTOL, which is very different. Hey man, thanks for the five, dude. Green would hate it uh, if I made the joke. Should I start talking about the jester again? I don't think I don't know if Green's here to be honest. Hey Joe, thank you very much for the two dollars tip, man. Appreciate it. Um He said, my reasoning for the Falcata to at least move noticeably faster than the Wombat, okay, that's what you're suggesting here, uh, you're saying, is because I believe that the Falcata versus Falcata fights are going to be overall the best dogfights, judging from how fast it functions and moves around the terrain. I mean, I think it'll definitely be very fun. Flying it around just feels really good, feels really natural. I 
don't like that this camera gets lowered. I think I'm gonna have to raise it up when it's in. Uh, I don't know why it gets closer to the center of the screen when you boost. Yeah, I, I could agree with that. It's got a little bit of dropship combat. Maybe a lot of like spinning around each other and stuff. I think I might make it so it's hard to turn in this. That way you're kind of like fighting against the turn so you can't just be like doing dropship combat where you do this all the time, you know? Where you're just like spinning and spinning and spinning. Cause that just feels terrible. I hate watching two pelicans, like, spin against each other, like, that's horrible. They're nerfing controller players again? No. Being able to do this just is, like, dumb as fuck. I think the move here is... Let's see, how do I want... Let's see if this is viable. Is there a yaw range? Do I get a yaw range even? Okay, they're just set to zero. Minus 90 to 90. Let's try a 45. What does that look like? Does that feel bad? That feels pretty terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Just having my mouse like restricted, unable to move beyond that point does not feel good. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think that feels pretty bad. I'm gonna jump out of here. I'm just gonna end stream early today. I uh, might be live tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go work on uh, the video I am overdue for. I'm just gonna go work on that. Uh, thank you guys for being here today for this short stream. I'm gonna hop out though. Have a good day, y'all. Peace.